Hello, how are you doing? My name is Otto and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm very excited to talk about a new product from the brand Feiyu Tech. And this video is not sponsored. Feiyu Tech sent me their product to test it out, but everything that I say is my own opinion. So this is their new smartphone gimbal. It is the Feiyu Tech Bimbo 3, and this is a huge jump from their previous gimbals lineup, which in my opinion, they have an older design and they only had the most basic functions. The new Bimbo 3, on the other hand, has been completely redesigned to have this fresh and modern look. And besides that, this gimbal has a lot of features that a lot of users will find useful and attractive as well. So inside the box, we are going to find the gimbal, a tripod, a carrying pouch, and a USB-C charging cable. I like that the tripod has a good size as this will make the gimbal more stable. This gimbal has a weight of 400 grams and the tripod weights 110 grams. The gimbal can be folded like this for easier transportation and it can support the smartphones up to 260 grams and the clamp will hold thin cases like these ones without a problem. The maximum tilt angle is supposed to be 35 degrees looking up and 35 degrees looking down, but let me show you what it looks like in real life. This one here is looking down, the camera is facing down, and here it is facing up. This type of design makes it easier to set up a smartphone and to balance it. You just have to place the smartphone right in the middle of the clamp and turn the gimbal on. So there is no need to adjust the arm or anything like that. The Bimbo 3 has a battery that will last for about 10 hours and it charges in less than 2 hours. There is a USB-C port over here that will let you use the gimbal to charge your smartphone if you use a cable to connect them. At the top of the clamp, there is a magnetic base where you can place a magnetic field light or an AI tracking device that will make the gimbal track you without using their app. Just imagine being able to use your native camera app and use tracking at the same time. Now, these two devices will need to be connected on the USB-C port as you can see on the pictures and none of them are included when you buy the gimbal, so you're gonna have to pay for them if you really want them. The new Bimbo 3 has its own extension rod. It extends an extra 20 centimeters and you can adjust the angle at the top on three different positions. This is something good to have if you need some extra height and it is especially useful for bloggers, for group shots, and this works really well for low angle shots as well. The Bimbo 3 is a 3 axis gimbal and after testing the stabilization for a few days, I feel that it works pretty well. The video clips that you see on this video do not have any kind of post stabilization. I do like the build quality of this gimbal, holding it feels nice thanks to the ergonomic design and there's plenty of room for my hand to hold the gimbal and not cover the buttons or the joystick when I'm doing so. On the back, we have a trigger and this extra button which is customizable on the menus. If you press and hold it, it will activate flash follow, which is sport mode, and this will make the gimbal react faster to your movements. If you single press that button, it will activate tracking mode. The regular trigger will recenter the phone if you double press it. Triple pressing the trigger will switch to the selfie or the back camera, and holding the trigger will make the gimbal go into lock mode. On the right side, we have the power button and a USB-C port to charge the gimbal. Tapping the power button when the gimbal is on will open a quick menu to change to video or photo mode and you can navigate through the menus with the joystick. And this avoids the need to touch the screen to change the different camera modes. On the front panel, we have a status indicator as well as three lights that will indicate the battery power. This button will open the album to check your videos or pictures. 
The M button allows you to change the different gimbal modes and I've said this many times before but this is something that I like to have on any kind of gimbal. It makes it easier to switch from one mode to the other without going into the menus every single time. My only complaint is that there are no indicator lights to let me know the current mode that I'm using. And for users that like to use Inception or Vortex mode, you need to know that this gimbal currently doesn't have it. The M button will also let you change from horizontal to vertical mode and vice versa. Here we have the record button to start and stop recording or to take a picture. The joystick to move the camera around feels very good and this wheel is probably the biggest surprise and I was not expecting this. It can be used to zoom in or zoom out and if you press the button in the middle, you will be able to manually focus with the wheel. Having a focus or a zoom wheel is much better than just having a slider as this is going to give you a more precise control. I have tested the manual focus with an iPhone and with my Android device and I like that it works really well on both of them without having to select any special features. If you don't like using the wheel to control the zoom, on the left side there is still a zoom slider and the zoom slider can let you use the wheel as a dedicated manual focus wheel. There are two additional buttons here which are designated as A and B and these are memory buttons for the zoom or the manual focus. I can set a point A to start and a point B to finish, so now when I press B, the focus will go from A to B, or I can press A, so the focus will go from B to A. And this is great because I don't have to do anything else on the gimbal, and I can also customize the speed from A to B on the settings. To use this gimbal, you will need the Face You On app. On the app, you can use object and face tracking by selecting the subject on the screen. The tracking does a good job on iPhone and on Android. But on iPhone, you need to unlock the phone orientation, otherwise the tracking will go crazy. Gesture control is also available on this gimbal. Doing the V-Sign will take a picture and showing the palm will start recording a video. On the app, you can select the camera mode that you want to use and it is divided into videos or photos. On photo mode, we can select long exposure and panorama shots at 2x2, 3x3, 180 and 360 degrees. On video mode, we can select the slow motion, time lapses, motion lapses and dolly zoom is also available. Time lapses will have a maximum resolution of 4K and slow motion will only allow 720p at 120 frames per second. For video mode, if you have an iPhone, you will be able to record using 1080p or 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second, but there is no 24 frames per second. With my Samsung S21 Plus, I was able to select 1080p at 30 frames per second and 4K at 30 frames per second, but there is no 24 frames per second either, and there is no slow motion. I like that the Feiyu On app has a lot of features, and for the most part, it's easy to use. On the screen, we can focus and zoom in and out manually, we have beauty effects, and for advanced users, we have overexposure warning and focus assist, but Focus Assist works better on Android than on the iPhone. I really like this gimbal and if you're someone who is looking for good stabilization, a cool looking design and extra features that you don't get on other gimbals, this could almost be the perfect gimbal for you. It is not perfect, but Feiyu is showing that they have the capacity to get very far away from their competition but I feel that they need to work a little bit more on their app. I mean, for example, it's great to have different settings, but it's not good when they are in different places, and changing the white balance or the ISO should not reset the other value, and this happens on the iPhone and not on Android. But you see, on Android, I have these two descriptions in Chinese, but the language is supposed to be in English. Changing gimbal modes will not show a legend on the screen like on the iPhone. 
And these are just small details that I'm sure that Feiyu can and will fix soon. And I can't wait until they fix all these small details. Please tell me what you think about this gimbal in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a like. I hope you are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.